quick intro. We're here in Oakville at a place called Spoon and Fork. It's a buffet that serves Thai, Japanese, and Italian. You ready to go? You bet. If this is your first time seeing us, my name is Miles. I'm Will. Let's go get started. Hope you guys will enjoy this episode. (laughs) Of course. Of course they will. I'm ready. All right. That's right. Here's the food. We're gonna start off with Japanese food first. Well, the Asian stuff. Tataki. Let's try that. What is this, raw beef? Yeah, thinly sliced beef. Raw beef. Take some toppings. Mm. Nice texture. It's got fried garlic on top. It's sweet. Good mm. Refreshing. Good chew. Try the escargot. No? No, yeah. I'm good. Kinda, I, I wanna go again. Yeah. This is really good. Yeah. We might have to get more. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely another order later. Oh yeah. This is nice. Is that a thumbs up? Is there a meat in that? Yeah. What, what pork, is it? Pork. pork? Men's pork. Oh, nice. Oh, it's nice. I love a cake. Quite hot. Delayed reaction. A hint of uh, sweetness. Nice. Is I like here? the crunchiness of the fried noodles. But, mm. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Makes you want to get more. Come on, have one. You yeah. know what? I'll try it. Since I'm a first time snail eater, I'm going to eat it with the bread. Oh. Oh, just, just do it. Huh? Garlic bread is really buttery. Right. It's manageable with the bread, but I don't think I would like that by itself. Okay, I'm gonna have them all then. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. I had to try it though. I had to try it. Oh, it's really creamy. Oh, it looks good. The, the it's kind of small. It's small. This buffet is nice because the plating. They really pay attention to it. When you order like multiple sashimi, they put it together in a bowl on ice. On ice. Like you're not getting that at other uh, buffets. Yeah, nice presentation. So you eat with your eyes first. But, but these days they say they eat with the cameras first. <laughs> I've never had it on ice before. It makes yeah. a big difference. <laughs> yeah, it makes it feel yeah. really cold. Yeah. For sure. That's great. It's, it's, the portion size is very small. So you, you, you can try a lot of different items. I like it. This way. Because after all, you, know, you, you come for your selection, right? Mm-hmm. The signature. Signature wasabi soy sauce mix you got more. Not enough. Wait, can, can you get more wasabi? Wait, more wasabi? He said more wasabi. Wait, here. Oh, you gotta cleanse your palate with the ginger. If you've never had a cheese wonton, uh, it's great because it's deep fried and it's sweet. And it's got sweet sauce. Mm. I just got a mouthful of cheesiness. <laughs> oh, really cheesy. This one's great because it's very warm. The cheese is warm inside. I know, it's like an explosion of cheese flavor. Yeah, I know. I know you know it's cheesy. <laughs> but compared to other cheese wontons, that's actually different. It's actually different. That's it's, good. Good. it's almost too cheesy. I gotta Everywhere chase it down do with some wasabi. Alright, we'll wait for the next dish. Mini salmon pizza. Sushi pizza. Cheers. Alright, I'm gonna put this down. I like the deep fried rice. 
The texture of that below the, the, the fish, the contrast of uh, textures really yeah. with the sweet a hint of sweetness and some of the mammy. Nice. Nice flavor. Do you order this? One dish of meatballs with cheese, but I guess comes you order by by the ball. <laughs> it's American cheese. Go ahead. It's a one by the definitely. Is that wait, is that teriyaki sauce? Is it? I don't know. Okay. Is it supposed to be Italian? I don't know. No, I don't think so. Well, new invention, you had to try it. Not new Fusion. invention. Fusion. Italian, Japanese. Pringles XXL. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I don't think I got any filling on the first bite. That's right. That's the trouble. There's not really any filling. The sauce is nice. It's, uh, I think quite elegant. It's honey and fish sauce. Sometimes the uh, uh, fish sauce is uh, too pungent for me. Yeah, with the Thai spring rolls. This isn't a fish sauce. Hmm? What's this? Maybe there's no fish sauce in it. Maybe it's just honey and vinegar. Okay. Did you order multiple calamari? I did. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try, try the sauce. You see what? I think there's a hint of fish sauce. Not much. How much for the calamari sauce? I see. I'm literally drinking that. Oh, this is for the Hambrua. You, you drink. He's just drinking it to for show for the video. Yeah. Not. He wouldn't normally do this. I think. That's right. I think we should have eaten them right away. Yeah. A little bit soggy. But the, but the batter, batter is light. Yeah, you can tell that when it was fresh, it had a good crunch. To it. I'm tired of putting this sauce. Yeah, you don't know. <laughs> this place has been pretty good so far. Um, I wasn't going to record everything, but I might as well, just in case, you know, something surprises us. Dad. Yeah. Wow. Oh, okay. I guess my friend. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's not me. <laughs> the ginger, it's coming in strong. Are you not getting that right now? I'm, I'm not getting any taste of beef. One thing about this buffet, everything comes out really hot. Let's uh, give it a try. Some shrimps. Let's see. A uh, uh, on the blind side. Let's move on. Singapore noodle. It's a uh, beef meat rice noodle. Thai style. Once again, piping hot. It tastes more like the Chinese style. I think. I don't think they use uh, fish sauce. Maybe maybe people don't like fish sauce. More of an acquired taste. Yeah. yeah. A little bit underwhelming for me. These are two dishes. Ching Mai beef noodles. Quite salty. I find that the, all the wok dishes, they come out really hot, but the seasoning part is uh, inconsistent. Okay. I'll, yeah, the yeah, Singapore noodles are under season, but this one is over seasoned. Check this out lamb chops. You get any minced stuff? It's nice. Oh. There's no knife. I didn't get one. I don't know how you got one. I think they, they did it on purpose because uh, the name of the restaurant is Spoon and Fork. No, it's Fork They don't give you a huh? oh, Fork and Spoon. Actually, uh, I don't taste any uh, gaminess. It's covered. Or oh, laminess. <laughs> right? Not much lamb taste, but very tender though. Beef teriyaki? Yeah. Yo. It takes a little while to get through. Nice beef ribs? Yep. Short ribs. Beef short ribs. Mmm. I 
think this might be the best from the grill. From the looks of it? Really tender. It's almost uh, too tender. I think they, maybe they tenderized the meat. I think they did. I don't mind. Yeah. Another piece. Go what ahead. are you trying? No, go ahead. Okay, I'll no, try. No, no, we already tried we this. We are synchronized. We already tried this. Synchronized. Cheers. God. Thank you. Sounds good. Yeah? Yes. We're going with the salmon milky. Yeah, okay. Get some smoked salmon. Get some smoked salmon. Yeah. It's a uh, cream sauce and the cheese. I think you need the salmon for the texture. I've never had it uh, with cream sauce before. You're I always had it with... Stop lying. Sage butter. Oh, wait. Right? right. Yeah, yeah. This is a little bit on, on the salty side. Maybe it's the smoked salmon that I had. You know, I thought you were lying, but you know you're right. You're right. I'm sorry. Sorry. My bad. Apology accepted. <laughs> well, move on to the trouble? Yeah. Can I travel them, please? Uh, yeah. More like a ravioli type thing. But with a different shape. Yeah. Mm, I can taste yeah, the truffle. Yeah, you can taste the, the fungi, fungus. Yeah, the earthiness. Like the earthiness, yeah. yeah. Of the mushroom. It's not overpowering. I'm gonna have one more, by the way. Yeah, let's finish. <laughs> Finish off with the Italian yeah, bruschetta. Some... Thank you. Can I get some uh, balsamic vinegar? Thank you. One biter or two biter? No, two. Two? It's not Thank a you. one biter. Cheers. One biter. We don't have much time left, so I'm gonna stop recording. We'll get to eating and. Um, Talk again later. See ya.